That I've explained many times, the pocket dictionary and international dictionary. You cannot say that pocket dictionary is no dictionary, but it is meant for a certain class of student. An international dictionary is meant for a certain class of student. They are all students. was crash, was what was spoken by crash, that is also God consciousness. But that was meant for a certain class of men. And what class of men they were? They're not even perfectly civilized. Because Christ was explaining God consciousness. That was his fault. And they crucified him. What class of men they were? Yes. His only fault was that he was explaining God. And they crucified him. The Lord was crucifixion. So what class of men they were? The status of that society. Just try to understand. Therefore, what spoke, what was spoken by Lord Jesus Christ, for them that was sufficient. But when Bhagavad Gita is spoken to a person like God, that is divine. So we have to speak according to the time, according to the circumstances according to the audience. Don't you see that here only a few persons are attending? Why? They cannot understand this Krishna science, Krishna consciousness. It's not meant for all classes of men. It is a high standard of God consciousness. Love. Love of God. So, there is also teaching some love of God, undoubtedly. That is the difference. The main thing, always try to understand. The small pocket dictionary for uh, students who are in the primary stage and an international dictionary for higher students, postgraduate students. So both of them are these dictionaries. But it is meant for somebody, it is meant for somebody. And the test is Palena Parichya. Palena Parichya, so you have to understand. Uh, suppose you are traveling in a forest, so many trees are there that you cannot understand what is this tree or this But as soon as you see the flower, oh, here is apple or this is apple tree. Just like the other day you were you never saw apple tree. No, as soon as you saw the apple, you understood this is apple tree. Oh. The taste 
of any scripture. See how one is developing love of God. If you find that following some religious principle, you are developing your love of God, then it is perfect. It doesn't matter whether it is Bible or Quran or Bhagavad Gita, it doesn't matter. We have to see what is the fruit. If the fruit is that people are developing love of God, then it is perfect. Don't try to understand whether this is good, this is good, this is bad, this is not. Try to understand by the reason. That's why we say, wait, if you see the fruit, then it is perfect. So it doesn't matter whether it is Bible or uh, Gita. If you can develop love of God by reading Bible, it is first class. And if you can uh, uh, develop love of God by Bhagavad Gita, it is first class. And if you do not, then either it is Bible or the Quran or Bhagavad Gita, it has no effect for you. So it is up to you. Not by comparison, but by your own activity. If you actually follow the instruction given by Lord Jesus Christ, you will also develop love of God. There is no doubt. Similarly, if you follow the instruction of Krishna, you will also develop. So it is up to you. You try to follow. If you do not follow, simply try to make a comparative study, this is good or this is bad, this is bad or this is good. Uh, that is called samayeva hi kevalam, simply leveling. Why comparative study? Just see how much you are developing love of God. That's Kareda Parishya. Priority is apple is there. That's all. Never mind, what is this thing? I am concerned with the apple. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 